Hey, Martha, what's up? Just wanted to let you know I'm getting married. Uh, excuse me? You, Paula, getting married? Seriously? That's right. Why are you acting so surprised? <laughs> I finally found the right guy. Rich and good looking. How can I let that pass? I plan on having the biggest wedding ever. Uh, seriously? Sorry to leave you behind, Martha. <laughs> I really don't care about that. I may be wrong about this, but can I ask you something? Is this the guy you stole from that girl? You're not talking about the same guy, are you? Wow, you remember that? So, it's the same guy, huh? Wasn't this guy just about to get married and you stole him away from her at the last minute? Something like that, as I recall. Seems a little dodgy what you did. Yeah, well, couldn't be helped. He fell in love with me. What can I say? Anyway, in the long run, I saved him from a loveless marriage. I did it out of kindness. I rescued him. Yeah, right. Whatever. But all I can say is, it was sort of devious what you did. I really can't believe I was a childhood friend of yours. I mean, were you always like this? How did I put up with you all these years? Stop yakking, would you? Isn't there something you should say to me on such a wonderful occasion? What are you talking about? We're childhood friends. We've known each other since grade school. You could be more accommodating. Accommodating, huh? Yeah, what's wrong with that? You could at least say congratulations. That's what friends usually say. Oh, yeah, usually. But what you did was so outrageous that I didn't think it deserved approval. What? How could you say that? Please don't start. If there's nothing else, can we cut this short? Martha, how could you say that? Just because you have no guy and no prospect of getting married, you don't have to be so rude. Just so you know, I'll be inviting you, part of the loser crowd, to my wedding, just so you can witness the winners of this society. I want you to get a good, long look at how happy and successful I've become. The winner's crowd. Hey, I just received the RSVP invitation card. It says you're not attending. What's up with that? Just because you're a loser and have no boyfriend or prospects of getting one, you could at least celebrate my happiness. Like I said, we've known each other since grade school. It's the least you could do. I didn't even realize you were so petty. Envy is just oozing out of you. Cringeworthy or what? That's why you can't get a guy. That's why you can get married. I left a message on the card. I'm really busy with work on that day. There's an important business meeting that I just can't get out of. Sorry. So, I won't be attending. Excuse me? There was nothing more important than my wedding. You should give me precedence. With this job that's so important? This concerns my business, and it's confidential. Pardon me? You doing important work? Please. <laughs> I get it. You made that stuff up so you would get out of attending. Is that it? I bet that's it. I'm not making it up. It's work. Oh, hey, I got a great idea. If you contribute $3,000 as a wedding gift to me, I'll introduce you to a really nice guy. Uh, excuse me? I invited all my ex-boyfriends, so you can have your pick of the lot. There are some real good-looking guys. What do you say? Wait, you're inviting all your ex-boyfriends? Are you serious? Yeah. All these guys are super successful and great prospects going forward. To be honest, they're too good for you, but I'll do you this one favor. Contribute $3,000 and I'll give you one of these guys in return. Deal? Uh, right. You're going to give me a guy, is that what you're saying? Anyway, seems kind of strange to invite your ex-boyfriends to your own wedding. Nobody does that. Really? Seems pretty normal to me. I just wanted to invite them because they probably want to celebrate my happiness.
I'm like someone I know. Uh, yeah, whatever. Sounds like it will be fun. You bet! I'm the life of the party! Everyone will be having a great time. I bet you're thinking about attending, am I right? Uh, you do realize I was being sarcastic. This whole wedding sounds like a disaster in the making. Excuse me? Anyway, no way am I attending. I'll deposit money into your account as a gift, so send me your bank account info. See you around, Paula. Hey, Martha. I th thought you said you weren't coming to the wedding, and yet here you are. <laughs> I didn't realize it last night, but you were staying at the same hotel, right? Saw you coming out of your room and dressed to the hilt in that cool-looking business suit. Where'd you get that? The wedding and reception hall is not far from your house, but you opted to stay in a hotel, huh? Didn't want to miss anything, is that it? Well, I don't blame you. No boyfriend and just getting older and older. Gotta do something before it's too late. Bet you really want an eligible guy. I understand perfectly, Martha. No need to be ashamed. So does that mean I can look forward to that 3000 bucks? Once I verify that I got the 3000 bucks, then I can introduce you to my ex. You won't regret it. Martha, are you there? Pick up! What the hell is going on? The guests! What are you talking about? Besides, I'm really busy now. None of the guests have arrived. Excuse me? Most of them said they were attending. Why? What's going on? Guess they canceled at the last minute. Yeah, that's right. This guy sent me a line message saying he planned the whole cancel last minute scheme. He left a message saying nobody is going to attend a wedding of such a despicable bride? And they all canceled! I can't believe this! How could they? Uh, I actually saw all this coming. After 20 years of acting like some kind of queen and treating everybody like crap, this is the end result. What the hell are you talking about? Over the years, how many guys have you dumped? And how many times have you stolen guys away from other girls? Excuse me? Apparently, you invited all the guys that you stole from other girls and then dropped them later on, right? You invited not only your ex-boyfriends, but also their friends and relatives, right? Yeah, so what? I mean, it's normal to commemorate a friend's wedding, isn't it? It's a happy occasion! A time to celebrate! Besides, this was a long time ago. The past is in the past. I really don't think people forget so easily. That's why you're in this predicament. They didn't have to go so far. Yeah, right. Canceling at the very last moment is not a very nice thing to do, I must admit. Yeah, right? But if you consider all the reprehensible things you did all these years, well... What are you talking about? Stealing someone's fiancé? That is really low. That's bad enough, but then three days later you dump the guy, and you're back at targeting your next victim. You then do the same thing over and over. It's like you enjoyed this. It's like a game to you. You treat people like toys, completely disregarding their feelings. At first, I thought you had finally settled down. But then I find out that you got the guy playing the same old game. I doubt you will ever have a happy marriage after all that crap you pulled over the years. Martha, get over here right now! Pardon me? I'm contacting everyone I can, everyone that can possibly make it. I want you to contact the others and bring them all here, and I mean right now. At this point, I don't care who comes. I just need at least 30 people to be here. Impossible. I'm at work right now. Are you still being stubborn? Get over here and help me work this mess out. 
you stayed at the same hotel as me. You are planning to attend, right? I'm at the hotel because we're conducting an interview. Uh, excuse me? An interview? Yeah, it was scheduled way ahead of time. Before you contacted me about your wedding, that's why I couldn't attend. What the hell is this interview? I started my own company about five years ago. You started your own business? Yeah, and business has been going well recently, and a TV news program wanted to do an interview with me. So, here I am. Wait, what? That's what you've been doing all these years? Yeah, what can I say? I thought your wedding was nearby, but I didn't figure it was the very same hotel and that you saw me coming out. What a coincidence, huh? Are you serious? So, sorry, can't make it over there. And about helping you gather up people, can't help you there either. Then what am I supposed to do? Why are you asking me? Anyway, I gotta go. See ya! Martha, please! Martha, are you there? I need money. Please, can I borrow a little? Pardon me? That wedding the other day? Well, that was cancelled, and then my fiancé brought me. He said he no longer loved me. Go figure. And all those girls that I, you know, stole their guys from? They're all demanding compensation for damages. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was about a year ago, right? You stole, like, three guys at the same time. Are those the girls that are suing you? As I recall, they were pressing charges back then, but you up and disappeared for a year. Yeah, that was a year ago. I thought they all forgot about that. And then you had to send out invitations to everyone. Those girls got a hold of it and tracked you down. Seems obvious. Hmm? Really? Is that how they found out? You're not serious. You really thought they wouldn't find out? Anyway, lend me some money, please. You have your own company, right? You must be loaded. Please, Martha, help out an old friend. Whatever you can spare, please. Oh yeah, that reminds me. If you lend me money, I'll introduce you to a really nice guy. Oh, please, not that again. I have a lot of guys around me. As you know, you can pick out your favorite. I really don't need a guy. But if you don't have a guy, it means you just get older and older, and before you realize it, you're a fat old lady with nobody. Lend me money and your dreams come true. What do you say? Sorry to break this to you, Paula, but I'm already married. Wait, excuse me? You're married? Yeah, I married the guy I was dating since high school. Huh? Seriously, since high school? Yeah, that's right. Something wrong with that? This is the first I'm hearing about this. Yeah, well, I didn't tell you, so I guess you wouldn't know. I wasn't invited to the wedding? You really think I would invite you? Huh? Seriously? Why wouldn't you? Because I didn't want you there. But... You really think I would tell you who my boyfriend was? After years of stealing other guys away. You really think I would introduce you? You're out of your mind. Yeah, well, I guessed. Anyway, I'm really busy now. I have to get back to work. Hold it a second. The money! Goodbye, Paula. I'm going to put a block on you. See you around. I later heard that Paula was in debt for like a hundred thousand dollars. I was wondering what her parents were up to when all this was going down. It turns out that her folks divorced ten years ago and lived separate lives, and she has no contact with them. 
I heard Paula was not even able to contact them for her own wedding, which ended in total disaster, of course. But, knowing Paula, she had no intention of working diligently to pay off her debts. What did she do? She tried to run off in the middle of the night, but failed miserably. All the people that sued her were aware that she would probably make a run for it, and kept a close eye on her. She was apparently taken to some factory up north, a live-in job, and made to work off her debts. Needless to say, her constant bitching didn't win her any friends, and I heard she just works every day, living a lonely and boring life.